Hi, I'm Lindy, and thanks for joining me for this quick home or gym, lower body and quick core workout. All you'll need is a mat, some water, a timer on your phone or a watch if you have it for the core work at the end. And I have a set of medium dumbbells here. That's 10 pounds for me. Optional items, your resistance band. I also have a set of heavy for me weights and that's 15 pounds. Again, optional. All right, so let's get that mat situated and we'll get started. We're gonna do two rounds with a minute rest break between. If at any point you need to rest during the exercises, hit pause and then join me when you're ready. Okay, let's get started. All right, first up, we're gonna do a little warm up, some air squats, get those leg muscles ready for the work we have with our weights. Okay, so feet about hip distance apart and we're here for 15. So as low as feels good for your body. Good. Making sure you're breathing throughout this and going at a pace that feels good for you. Good, those hips should be feeling a little bit looser. All right, we're gonna transition into a lateral or side lunge. Again, opening up those hips for the work that we're gonna do with weights later on. Lunging to the side and then bringing my bottom back at a diagonal here. Feel a good gentle stretch in my inner thigh, those hip adductors. A few more. And let's switch sides. Here for 15. Okay, all right. A couple forward bends just to get that low back and those hamstrings waking up. Good, reach towards your feet. If you can't get that low, that's okay. You're on your own journey here. I should feel, I feel a gentle pull in the back of my hamstrings and I'm coming back up one vertebrae at a time. Okay, all right. So first exercise, grab those medium weights. <clears throat> 10 pounds for me. We're gonna do a suitcase squat here. So feet about hip distance apart, whatever's comfortable for your body, and weights just at your side, like you're holding two suitcases, okay? And we're gonna be here for 12 reps, ready. Going at your pace. These are too heavy. Get rid of them and do body weight. Still effective. Start where you're at. Whew. Okay, all right. Those weights down. Give yourself a second. Touch that breath. Okay, next up. If you just have one set of dumbbells, I want you to use those obviously, but if you have your heavier set, we're gonna go for those for the deadlifts. So I have my 15 pound weights here. For this type of deadlift, we're going to keep that back nice and straight and a little bend at the knee, then a hip hinge. This is what it looks like from the side. There are different styles of deadlift. 
this is one we're gonna do today, okay? All right, we are here for 12, ready. Nice and slow and controlled. Okay, all right, let's set those down. Grab a sip of water if you need to. Catch your breath. Okay, next up for the glutes and the quads, we are gonna grab our medium dumbbells again and a reverse lunge. Let's do 12 each leg. So you're gonna step back, the good bend on that front knee. If this feels like too much with the weights, drop the weights and just use body weight. It's still really effective. Remember to breathe. And through that nose and out through that mouth. Okay, next leg, here we go. Well reps. Watch your own pace. Stop this video at any point if you need to and resume when you're ready. Okay, next up, grab that resistance band if you have it. Again, this is optional, so I'll show you how to do it with the band, but if you don't have a band, just do the exercise without resistance. All right, it's gonna go on the legs, just above the knee. Okay, lie down on your mat, and we are going to do some glute bridges. So bring those heels towards your bottom, Press into that band, get a little bit of resistance for those outer hip muscles. And we're gonna lift and lower for 12. Starting with my tailbone, lifting one vertebrae at a time towards the sky. Feel it in those outer hips, those hip abductors, my glutes. All right, when you're ready, set back up. All right, next, I want you to get into tabletop position here and we're going to come to the top of our mat, okay? And we're gonna take one leg, raise it in the air, and I want you to lift and lower at a diagonal. Nice and slow and controlled. My toe is pointed towards the ground. All right, we're here for 12, a side. Excellent, switch sides. This really targets those hip abductors. Our side hip muscles that help support us when we walk, when we move. Help support the knee, the ankle, and the hip. Okay. 
Okay, round one finished. So we're gonna be here for 60 second rest break. Grab some water, catch your breath. Okay. If you need longer than a minute, hit pause and join us when you're ready again. I should feel a, a gentle burn in those legs like you just did something. Ten more seconds. All right, we're starting back up with suitcase squats after our rest. Okay, all right, let's get started. So, your medium weights. If you want to go heavier this time, go for it if you have them. All right, hip distance apart. We have 12 of these suitcase squats. Here we go, second set. almost halfway there. Just a second. We're grabbing those heavy weights again for our deadlifts. Okay, all right. Reach those abdominals, and here we go. Nice flat back. So last exercise with our weights, grab your medium set and we have those reverse lunges, 12 each leg, let's go. Remember to breathe. On to the other leg. <sighs> Almost there. Quads should be feeling it at this point. <laughs> okay, we're going back to our mat. Grab your resistance band if you're using one. Remember, heels close to our bottom here. Press slightly into that band. And we're here for 12. Nice and slow and controlled. I really like to think about squeezing those glutes at the top. I'm keeping them engaged as I lower my bottom towards the mat. I think bridges are such a great exercise to do across the lifespan. Whether in your 20s or your 90s, such a good exercise for those glutes. Almost there. Okay, good. All right, done with our band. We're back into tabletop position for those hip abductors. Okay, nice neutral spine here. Okay, wall of the side. 
I like to think about squeezing those side hip muscles as I move my leg. Help activate that brain muscle connection. I think thinking about it, for me, makes me feel it a little bit more. Really stay focused on the exercise I'm doing in that moment. When you're finished with your 12, switch sides. We're almost done. Stay with me. We have a few good core exercises next. Okay. All right, let's take about a minute rest break. Grab yourself some water, then with the legs, and the core's next. You should have three core exercises. If you have your own core routine, feel free to end this video. Do your own thing. <laughs> Important part is just working out that core and the way that works for you and your body. About 20 more seconds. These three exercises, this mat, and your body. Okay, here we go for our core finisher. I want you to lie on your back, on your mat. Okay. All right, so once you find your hip points, front of those hip bones, your pelvis, and then I want you to take your fingertips and move them up about an inch, so you're right on your belly. So firm into that belly. And your back right now should have like a normal arch in that spine. And what I want you to do is I want you to find a neutral spine by tilting that low back towards the mat so that you're gently touching that mat, okay? Another cue I like to give to engage these deep core abdominal muscles is pretend like you're zipping up a pair of tight-fitting pants. <laughs> the motion you would do for that. Okay, when you engage this deep core muscle layer of our body that helps support our spine and with movement, throughout the day, you should feel that muscle kind of kick into your fingertips. Okay, we're gonna stay in that neutral spine and we're gonna raise our knees up and we're gonna slowly extend that leg. Staying in that neutral spine, nice and slow and controlled. And each leg. The slower you go, the better here. Make that deep core, that transverse abdominis. That's the name of the muscle. And work really hard. Trying not to let that low back arch. All to keep that muscle engaged. And remember to breathe. on each leg. With this exercise, you're not gonna feel fatigue like you would, you know, doing 20 sit-ups, something like that. This is a postural muscle. Part of its job is to not fatigue, support us with whatever we're doing throughout the day. Okay. All right, once you hit about 10 a leg, we're gonna move on to the next exercise. So planks. Let's start with some front planks. Two ways. You can be with your elbows extended, nice and straight, or you can be on your forearms. I'm gonna choose forearms, and we're gonna be here for 30 seconds. So if you have a timer on your Watch or phone, use that, or I'll time us right now. All right, 30 seconds. Good. We don't want that bottom too high or too low. Good neutral spine. We're halfway there. 
Remember to breathe. Okay, and rest. Nice. You want to do another set of those planks, go for it. We're going to transition into a side plank. Okay. I'm going to make this one a static plank. I'm a huge fan of dynamic planks. That's another video from my full core workout. Okay, we're going to be here 30 seconds a side. Okay. It's going to look like this. So shoulder over elbow and then elevate those hips. You can have your leg in front of you or you can stack your ankles on top of each other. Whatever works for your body. 30 seconds, remembering to breathe. This is great for our side core muscles. QL or quadratus lumborum as it's called. More than you need to know. Just know that it's good for that core. Few more seconds. Try to keep those hips elevated. Okay, and slowly lower. All right, almost there. Okay, other side. Get yourself situated. And let's go. Give her 30 seconds. I love to add some of this gentle core strengthening at the end of the lower body, upper body, or full body workout. All right, we have five more seconds. You've got this. And lower. Okay. If you have time, let's lie down. Let that body rest a minute. Okay, gently rock those knees side to side. Okay, gentle hamstring stretch. And hug those knees to your chest. Happy baby pose. Rock those knees side to side, it feels good. Cross one leg over the other, press that knee away from you. Good, stretching out those hips. And switch. When you're ready, slowly come up from your mat. All right, time to hydrate. All right, thanks for joining me. Feel free to come back, check out some of my other workouts if you enjoyed this one. Hit like, comment below if you wanna see some other videos. Have a great day.